call to order the uh, meeting of the Redevelop Arlington Redevelopment Board on April 28, 2014. Um, very short agenda tonight as we uh, just uh, hit a couple things and then head over to um, uh, the first session of town meeting. Um, the first thing is uh, the R presentation of the Zoning Bylaw Amendment Warrant Article for town meeting. Um, so uh, Carol had forwarded, I think, the PowerPoint or PDF of the PowerPoint. Um, and I've kind of annotated it for my own benefit as I present tonight. Um, but uh, did anyone have anything that they wanted particularly, you know, stressed or yeah, emphasized or, or what have you? Um, I, I'd like to just inform the board that Molly Flukiger is a town meeting member. And I just want you to be aware she is... Um, one of probably a small handful of people who we were sure would take a very deep interest in Active, this. Active, yeah. Uh, she didn't come to the hearing. Right. We were kind of surprised. I heard that she was going to some of the precinct meetings and um, saying that she had questions about the process by which this was um, created. So I called her and I said, um, I wanted to give you uh, an opportunity to hear how we arrived at this and so on and so forth. Very cordial. But, she was very suspicious of the working group. And so at one point, you know, we, were, we had a good conversation going on. At one point I said, why don't you have faith in us? Yeah, and yeah. I just said, Yeah, fair enough. And yeah. she said, well, I think it's um, because I, it came down to, she felt that the Board of Health's regulations in some respects, like for tobacco, have gone farther than what the state requires, or what the feds require. Board of Health has the option to go stronger, so she was afraid that there would be a, a move to be too restrictive. So I, I continued the conversation to try to tell her that I had faith in the process and that I, I thought that it was worth giving it a chance right. and that it was really done in good faith to make sure that the way Arlington voted was represented in the way we wanted it to be out in the open in a, our three commercial districts. So I wanted you to be aware she thought at the end of the conversation she wouldn't get up to speak about it because she acknowledged she hadn't been involved in the process enough to be knowledgeable. And I said, well, feel free to speak, but I, I want you to feel free to ask me any questions ahead of time, too. So I think it ended quite well. It, I, I just want you to be aware um, okay. of, of that conversation. I think it went well. I don't know how Lawrence McKinney will proceed. Mm -hmm. um, but those are the two individuals who, and I suppose Elsie is going to feel very strongly against it. So, yeah. um, if if passed as prologue, I, I can't um, say how. And Lawrence McKinney. Yeah. Lawrence McKinney is very knowledgeable about medical marijuana. He worked um, for years on research in medical marijuana, and he's a, a very ardent proponent of medical marijuana for med medicinal purposes. Um, so, you know, when you're trying to think about being prepared, I mm -hmm. think that um, that's the known landscape. I'm sure that there are some town meeting members who are going to feel or express themselves on both sides. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think, I think from that perspective, I mean, I, I, I mean, it's because I was part of it, but I have, uh, um, I have faith in the process as well. I think also, as I mean, uh, and when we do have some extra slides here to go through a couple of other areas that certainly were considered, um, you know, it's it's too bad we weren't. I, I probably should have included a copy of the spaghetti that is our zoning, um, and uh, um, I, I didn't. Um, but uh, at the same time, I think that by doing kind of the overlays, you get a good sense for, you know, when we're talking about industrial, when we're talking about B4, you know, those types of things. Um, we can kind of at least talk to it. So, uh, and if someone brings it up, then we can certainly bring those slides up. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, is the thought, so. Mike, when somebody asks, what are the state regulations, which we know are very complete, mm -hmm. and, well, they, they cover what it is, they, how it should, be run, what, what, are the, what are Correct, the, signage. Yep. Oh, specific state signage. regulations, yeah. Uh, they actually cover signage. They do. And advertising. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, they, that's why we didn't they say touch how, on signage. How big they can be, how they operate, their nonprofit. I don't know about big. Um, I don't 
think it goes to size because it can be grown. Are there health regulations in there? There are. There are. I, you know what? But Christine Bongiorno is going to have to speak to those. Okay, um, that's all I wanted to know. Is yeah. There's somebody that can. Oh yeah, yeah. Somebody's... Because she's in the process of putting together Arlington's, which is taking all of those okay. and localizing them. So, okay. so yeah. With re, you know, with respect to questions the, on that issue. Yeah, I, 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 I would definitely need to need to pass over to her. So good. Good. I mean, I feel pretty good about like the thought process and the zoning pieces. Understood. Yeah. Um, and in, and in fact, um, you know, one thing we didn't talk about in here was signage. But if that does come up, obviously we considered it, yeah. and we actually thought that the state regs were better than us trying to do our, our own thing, and you know, being uh, potentially uh, subject to some spot zoning claims. I mm -hmm. think is what we thought of uh, with respect to that particular signage. If you might recall, when yeah. we had that debate as well, um, that we thought we were better off. You so. want to opt to just touch on that as postscript when you get to the end of the presentation. You think actually uh, get to it? it rather than, maybe, well, maybe play here. right here, but I would, I would, when you get to... I don't think so. Don't bring it up? Because I think there's going to be such a swirl of understanding. Yeah. The thing yeah. Is, before we have to worry about signage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think if we, so I think if it comes up, I think it's a good answer to yeah. say, yeah. look, we discussed signage. Uh, yeah. There are state regs with respect to signage. Um, stringent state regs. Stringent state yeah. regs with respect to what can and can't be in state signage, how big it can be, and the like. And we were actually concerned that if we did something, you know, we might be actually expanding the ability to sign. Mm -hmm. right. And not only that, but we'd be subject to some spot zoning claims versus, you know, the state being able to regulate uh, from a health perspective. Yeah, I, I think that, you know, the, the focus has to be on this as a zoning article. Zoning article, exactly. And, um, not that, that you know, things happen in a vacuum and it's only zoning issues get considered when a zoning article is in front of town meeting or before us, but, you know, ultimately that's, that's what our responsibility is, is to try to figure out if something is going to be an allowed use or a special permit use, what zoning districts can it go into and what's the process for this board granting the special permit. That's right. So isn't, isn't that kind of in your problem? And, and that's yeah. what this does. Mm -hmm. I, and I think I it's think very it's good. good. Yeah. And, you know, I, I think, you know, this is a, a subject where, you know, people are going to have some strong opinions. But a lot of it, a lot of those opinions are going to be outside the context of zoning. Zoning. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So you have to let other people answer this. Yeah, and, you know, it's a good point. Um, Remind people that this is a zoning article. It, it does, we approached it from a zoning perspective. Yeah, that's very important. So. I think there's also some, there may be some members who assume that by promote, um, offering this warrant article, we're trying to restrict it. You, you, you want to remind town meeting members that this, ha this has to be done so that it can be allowed. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't think so. You can do it anywhere, but the Attorney General's office is going to be much, much more. They'll be happier if municipalities are saying yes. where it can go, rather than not, you know, sticking their heads in the sand and not telling the um, growers and the uh, distributors where in town it's expected to be allowed. Yeah, but I think that if we had no article on this, then you would have proponents coming forward and saying, "Well, you should treat us like a retailer or a pharmacy." Certainly. And I'm not even sure you would need to say any of it. Yeah, right. I think you could just go where you want to go. Where a pharmacy is allowed, or yeah. go where uh, you know a maybe claim. Is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Mike, you got it all in here. If you just yeah. So, so for my annotated, just to kind of put a finer point on it, I may as well just say it. I said, uh, so why do we need to address medical marijuana treatment centers in zoning? Because zoning is the only way that we can affect where an MMTC will be placed in town. Without its specific inclusion in our zoning bylaw, MMTCs can apply for a state and local health permit with little restriction on where it may be cited. Therefore, we want to zone this use. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, so. perfect. I think that's good. Yeah. I wanted to ask you a little bit about the, uh, at sort of the end of the presentation where you have the maps of the other districts. Are you thinking that those are just there if people yes. ask? Well, why not yes. be, okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 I thought it was too confusing to kind of say all the things that were considered and, you know, got, remember, I've got seven minutes. Exactly. No, so, 
fast. It'll go by fast. I mean, I may have, I, I plan on moving quickly, so I may have, you know, extra time. Mm -hmm. But I think that's a rat hole if you start saying what, you know, was considered and why you ended up. Now, yeah. I, think it's a, I think it's a fine answer to a question, you know, right. and, and right. certainly to come, certain to come up, so. When, um, it's inevitable that someone is going to say, why didn't you put these in the industrial district? Yeah. And don't forget how, how close the high school is to two industrial districts. Yeah. Uh, that may not be evident at a glance from the back of the hall at the map, but you might just... I think the concern there, too, is, is from the perspective of, of foot traffic and, and uh, yeah. accessibility, as well as uh, for, um, you know, public safety. Yeah, and that's in your, your tech, the text of your slide, which is yeah. good. Mm -hmm. yeah. They may like not so notice how close the borders of the two industrial districts are to the high school campus. Yes. Yeah. And to the Minute Bank bike path. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The industrial yeah. districts. Yeah. Yeah. Two, I think two, it's two, good you didn't put in the full zoning map, because that's... I know. Talk about confusing. I know. It's just and overwhelming. It's just spaghetti, yeah. <laughs> What's that going to help yeah. with this issue? Yeah. Yeah, your maps are very simple and straightforward. Yeah, that's, thank you to yeah. uh, Carol and uh, David Fields David. on our staff. Mm -hmm. yeah, nice job on if it comes up, Mike, um, most of the gray is our residential, is the pale yellow, which is all okay. residential. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I remember. Is Anything that's not on the, the maps in no, at the end of the presentation yeah. is most likely residential. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I think the only other one was like the B1 and the B2, which are the small Maybe it's a different person. office types. Yeah, neighborhood business. Yeah. Two fields. Oh. And David. Oh. It is David Fields? Yeah. Okay. He's our GIS guy. He is um, part time in planning and part time in IT. You think that's an okay intro for the. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's very good. Okay. He's excellent. Sorry to have a side conversation. Okay. Um, anything else on this? Okay. All right. Hopefully we get to it and we get through it. Um, next is just minutes. Um, minutes from last meeting. It was a short meeting as well. Yeah. Um, did anyone have any just those minutes? I have no comments on them. I had a few clarifications, but... If it was clear to everybody else, we could skip them, but I'll read them anyway. So the the sentence, the second, 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 set, wait, one, two, third, third like paragraph. that starts with the board made edits to the draft and then turned to Warren Article 22. I thought we could say Warren Article 22, the community preservation. Regarding the community preservation. Just to say what yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. yeah, regarding the community preservation. And then um, the next paragraph. Mr. Fitzsimmons shared with the board calculations he had estimated on how much the Arlington's registry fees totaled that Arlington had not been able to benefit from. So for somebody that wasn't at that meeting, I thought that was a little bit vague. I thought maybe we should say, Mr. Fitzsimmons shared with the board calculations he had estimated on how much how much oh I don't know what I wrote now. And how much, <laughs> and how much, because we had not enacted the CPA. How about on how much money? Oh, to take off the the, on how much okay. Arlington's registry fees totaled, and that Arlington, so put an and in there, and that Arlington has not been able to benef benefit from this because we have not enacted the CPA. Okay, that's good. That works for me. Yeah. I can give this to you, Carol, if you want. Okay, good. And then the next line again, Mr. Kayer added that the CPA also has to go before the voters instead of just saying it. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> I hope Amy you can read it better than I could. <laughs> <laughs> or Amy can read it better. Maybe I, maybe I should type it in because I couldn't even read it once I went to read it. <laughs> I, 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 think, I think it's fine. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. It's, it's good. I'm yeah. fine. Good. I move the approval of the minutes of April 17th, 2014. With edits. With edits. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And I think that's it. So. I think now I'll entertain a motion uh, to recess and reconvene over at town meeting. 
after which we will adjourn. After after town meeting, we will adjourn. Yes. Uh, so moved. Okay. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, uh, actually, we're reconvened, <laughs> uh, because actually, uh, I did that wrong, uh, because we did post an agenda for the town meeting itself. Uh, I'll actually entertain a motion to adjourn this meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you.